Did you get it? No, 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 but I, uh, <laughs> I just remembered, well, the whole first day is who is sending letters. So, at one point, Lisa is like, I know who did it. And then she calls up Mo, the bartender, because she figures that it must be Mo taking revenge for all the, the prank calls the party's been making. So, uh, so she calls the bar and Mo answers, Mo's tavern. <laughs> and she's like, Mo, we know it's you and cut it out. And then Mo's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, all right, all right. And then uh, and he goes in the back and there's just an enormous like crowd of pandas just, just hanging, hiding out in the back because he's been smuggling pandas from China. <laughs> and then they're all playing poker at these, these little poker tables, and he comes in and he's like, Okay, guys, the gig's up. Get out of here. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. <laughs> and just like, all these pandas just run out of most bar, like trailing poker chips. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and isn't there something like... Come out. I'm all right. Come out. I'm all right. Get out of here. Look, if I wanted to blow Shut you up. Away, Where are you coming from? Framingham. Framingham? That's... Massachusetts. What part of the state? It's near Harleston, right? Yeah, nearish. It's in the eastern part of the state. Near I-90. How did he come down? I took... Well, I went to Boston first. How is How Boston? Is Boston? Boston's a mess. How bad is it? Yeah, it's really bad. I have a sister. Well, I didn't see any women. Sorry, I, I just got there. I got out of there. Then which wife? I went down 24 to Brockton. Was hearing rumors of a barricade around Bridgewater. So I crossed over to 95 and I took that down to Providence. Providence was deserted. Weirdly, not even a lot of bodies. Perhaps there was some kind of evacuation, I don't know. Hmm. I think they were hit early, so maybe the government cleared people out. Maybe. I guess. It was eerie, so I got out of there in a hurry. Thought I should have a Stanford, so I skirted up. Stanford. My wife is in Stanford. On business, she uh, just checked herself into the hospital there when the city was put into quarantine. I, I didn't actually go to Stanford. It was burned through. There were definitely people in the area. They uh, seemed okay. Yay, hi. Fair head. Wait. Wait. Let's do this. Let's do this properly. I think it's important that we do this properly. Right. Right. Okay, right.
start? Don't you? No, I'd rather uh, just give it a minute. You go. Okay. All right. H. Harrison. Maureen Harrison, Don Harrison. 6460. You're not going to open that. I got a really good memory. Trust me, I really do. Holmes, Mel Holmes, that's a woman, 38. K, Tim Kapner, Lisa Kapner, and they have two sons. Paul, he's five, and Noah's seven. Is it all right if I just look? Yeah. Thank you. I just have to. Of you know? course. Um, <clears throat> L. Nilia Larkin, 14. W. Miriam Westerbrook, 36. And then this one's kind of crazy because she was in California. It's not that crazy. People got out of California. No, it's crazy. But uh, she's my best friend since college. Celia Campanelli. Yeah. No. I'm sorry. You can. Go ahead. Sophie. For Paul. Elizabeth to Paul, 32. Cameron to Paul, 38. E. Edwards. Auden. I, Ingracia. Lou Ingracia, 39. Jack Ingracia, 12. Stuart Ingracia, 6. Tabby Ingracia, 8 months. L. Lewis. Sarah Lewis, 29. Eric Shanka, 40. Timothy Walt, 42. No. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> B. Butler. Angela Butler, 71. Sharon Butler, 46. This is Boston. Richard Butler, 52. C. Cohen, Mariel Cohen, 17, Nina Cohen, 19, Raul Cohen, 15. G. Garber, Mark Garber, 37, Casey Martin, 39, Rolo Martinez, 50. Oh, wait a minute. Casey Martin. Casey Martin. I've got a Casey Martin. Um... Yeah, yeah, so uh, he has brown hair, almost six feet. Brown hair, tall, yeah. Uh, glasses? Yes, glasses. Uh, glasses and um, brown eyes. Uh, glasses, I don't know about the eyes. Uh, lean, he's got a lean build. Uh-huh. Bethesda. He's in Bethesda. No, 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 he's from Bethesda. Before that, briefly, D.C., and then Scranton for college, and, and before that, Belmont, a, a tiny, tiny town in Maine. Yeah. <laughs> he was working for John Hopkins Hospital in Records no, that's Administration. Not, that's really not him. Oh. Sorry. I haven't talked. Guy in over a year, I don't even know why he's on my list. So. Do I have more? That was my ten. Right, that was my ten, or do I? Yeah, I could do more. Yeah. I have one more. Charlie Barnard, 69. My crazy uncle. Schlumpy. Weird. I know you don't have him. No. Sorry. <clears throat> Sam? 
H. Linder Hopkins, 52. S. Jenny or Virginia Scott, 60. That's it? I come from a small town. I know about everybody else. Oh, and we're also looking for... Oh, um, we're also looking for... Uh, Becca Wright, 12. You don't have her. Oh. No. I know. Thank right. you. So, you are doing 10. Isn't it 10? No. Like, seems like last week or so, people are knocking it back to 8. Mine are... E. Evans. Peter Evans, 70. Estelle Evans, 48. Richard Khan, 35. Sorry, that's K. Khan, Richard. L. John Llewellyn. 37. S. Nolan Scott. 36. Yeah, wait, wait just a second. Oh, uh, let me just... Um, I didn't leave enough room for yes. I gotta write out a new book. Okay. Um, no? Suarez. Lilia Suarez. 38. Petra Suarez Evans, two. Cynthia Warner, 52. Francis Warner, 22. Noah Warner, 27. Sorry. No, sorry. Uh, uh-uh. No, I'm sorry. You hungry? No, I'm all right. Beer? Yes. That would be great, thank you. All right, we're gonna run through, chart his. Hey, Gib? The candles. Oh, God, right, sorry, sorry. You know, it's just as well, because that stuff was gonna kill you. No, 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 don't worry, I'm not gonna lecture anybody, it's gone now. That was a very scary sweetener. Hey, uh, can we go a little easier on the steam? That's a bit much. Yeah, how much are we using? Uh, it was half a stick. Your rate's still loaded, it's good for a few more sessions. It actually reminds me of my substitute teacher. Yeah, go easy on it, because we only have six boxes left, and there's a fire in Heretic Homer. Wait, Heretic Homer? We don't really want Heretic Homer, do we? Uh, we're negotiating for it. We're negotiating for it? With primetime players? Not with primetime players, but the, the reruns. reruns. No, wait, uh, no, the reruns. When was that decided? That's not what we decided. Heretic Homer is a wildly inaccurate show. No, we did. We did, Gibson. You were at the landing, and what, are you going to remember? Okay, okay, wait, yes, yes, all right. Wait, wait hold, what don't I remember? Because I was okay, there. Okay, obviously, we can't decide every decision by quorum, but I think we should decide on a category of decision that is decided by quorum, and I think repertoire should fall within that category of decision. Right, yeah, right. What you don't remember is that, yes, we agree that Heretic Homer is a shitty show, but A, we may be able to improve it, and Matt has a line. Well, a line? And B, Springfield Files is an even shittier show. Springfield Files was a great show! People remember loving that episode! Back in the day, yes, but our version sucks, and you know it does. If we don't play it, we lose it anyway, and every single time we do play it, we diminish our reputation. If we trade it... We don't have a single show in our repertoire with Mr. Burns, which... This is not about me playing him, it's the character. They really love him. Someone is gonna remember. Someone is gonna come forward. Yes, absolutely. Because eventually... Look, Gib, we went through all this. We decided. We did. We decided? We did. We had to make a decision. They were going to offer Heretic to Richards. We decided? Yes. Or was I peeing? I don't remember this. No, you were in the room. Or right, was I drinking? I don't. Remember this. Well, I think you were angry. Maybe you weren't listening. Yeah, but was I? You were drinking. Maybe you were drunk. Maybe we were all drunk. I don't. I, I really don't. Oh. Do you know what this is? 
Do you know what this is? Oh, this is brain damage. No, no. no of course it is. You got deposits, you got ruptures, blooms, and seepage. Gibson. Oh, no, of course it is. We're not going there. Please. North Carolina, every time it Please. rains, nobody knows what happened. What for a month? Nobody knows what happened to those people. Nobody knows what really caused that. Huh? Hundreds of months from anything, everything. Ooh. Hey, okay, and then skin, peel it off. Oh, okay, go. Oh, no, go, so it's marked out with lots of spray, spray paint and concrete and electrical tape that oh, it doesn't even mean anything. Nobody knows what you're doing. Oh, really shut the fuck up! Oh, 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 and on the ground, everyone's just guessing. Nobody knows what the boundaries are or what's the water or what's been creeping. We Jesus. don't know what's been creeping all this time through shale or any or any. We are breathing, yes, we are drinking, we are eating! It's all broken open! Ah! You know it, hot! talk about that. It's just... I don't remember us ever coming to a decision. I remember the discussion. I remember chiming in. I, I just don't remember at any moment when it was settled. It really was settled. Yes. I don't remember that. I think you were angry. I think you were drinking. I think you were yeah, but listening. You were drinking. And it wasn't a great batch, either. It was my batch. I was gonna own up. It was terrible. <laughs> I had a headache the whole next day. Right? Right. Right. Okay. Right. What was the line? Oh, that's a good one. What if we pick the wrong religion? Every week we're making God madder and madder. Yeah, that's good. That's a great line. And the reruns don't have that, right? But that's it, just one line? We decided, Gibson, we really did. People are gonna bring other lines forward, and that's what people remember. They didn't for them. Yeah, but we've got a better circuit. I, I really think we do. If the lines are out there, they'll come to us. I have every faith. Jenny, should we discuss the booth? The booth? Gibson, that was a private conversation. I never pretended to be anything other than lying there with my eyes closed, resting. Uh, this is what about the booth? Jenny? Something which I have not brought to the attention of the group because it's serious. And I'm not positive. But you're pretty busted. I'm pretty positive that I don't know how much longer we can go on buying lines. What? Really? Yes. That is not no, on the not table. We, we yeah. rely on the booth. No, you are dealing with people. People are just making anything up. And when I tell them no thanks, things are starting to get ugly. You, you, you've had that before. People making things up and people getting angry. You get that all the time. Yeah, I, I've had people who are hungry. And desperate. I've gotten people who are crazy. But last week, after the show in Pond Creek, a man came up to me. I do remember him vaguely, and he said, You'd use my line. I said that. He said, You'd use my line, and you never paid me for it. I said, I can assure you, no. And he said, The calm thyself, Bartron, and tell me where the magic space crystals which can save the galaxy are hidden. And he said, That's my line. You said you didn't want it, and now you're using it. Pay up. I said, that can't have been the line you offered me. So I said, look, we've um, found the day. 
We found the line I wrote down. I said, look, there's the line. That's your signature. That's not the line in the show. And he said, you know, what is this book? What is this book? It's just pen on paper. It doesn't mean anything. You, you, uh, you rewrote the page. You forged my signature. You stole my line. And I want my payment. And he, he knew. He knew it wasn't his line. He was lying to my face. And he knew I knew he was lying. This guy was bold. Lately, people are bold. And that's new. If we stop buying lines, then we're going to lose out to shows which keep buying lines. What if we just restrict it to brokers, to, to people we have trusted relationships with? Those guys. I don't trust those guys. Say they haven't got anything, you trade a show to Richard, suddenly they just happen to have an entire scene. The best lines we get, we get from people we don't know. There are people who walk right up to the booth. I got that person who wrote for Saturday Night Live. Oh, I remember that. It was good. We bought it, right? It was that whole chunk of Heart of Bartness, plus some lines for Lisa the Vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And he said he had a really good piece of Much Ado About Nothing, but he was the one. He said he'd have to join up. He said we'd have to take him with us. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he went to Richard's. They're not taking people on now, are they? Sometimes. They're also kicking people out. All right, there's Pond Creek. Pond Creek's never been great, right? So we take Pond Creek off the roof. Maybe we had um, Sulphur and Helena before we crossed into Kansas. I know it's not great business and it sucks for the horses, but they'd love to have it. It's not just Pond Creek. Muskegee has always been cool, but two weeks ago... Three I, weeks like, ago. Three weeks ago, I didn't like the feeling. I know. Our episodes are getting pretty good. And we'll put it together a rather accurate show. Richards is having the same problem too, I bet. Well, maybe their security detail is just better than ours. Right here, sweetheart. Oh, honey, you do a great job, but you're just hiring people town to town. Richards has six guys on permanently. Yeah, Richards can only be at one place at one time. Oh, we don't need to be Richards. We don't need 23 shows. We've got 27 now. 27? Who's did they buy? Thursday night. Those guys were losers, anyway. You know, I've heard that... No, no, sir. I know what you're going to say, and that is definitely a rumor. We don't need 27 shows. There is room for more than Richard's couch. Let's not kid ourselves. If Richard has a strong enough security detail, they'll keep on buying lines. They keep on buying lines, they'll assemble superior shows. Our shows look shitty in comparison. We'll lose audience, we'll lose more audience until we're selling our repertoire to Richard's show by show by show. Thursday night held on for as long as they could. And I, I, I know a lot of those guys went into the Shakespeare's, but some of them just sold themselves outright. I hear Richard's has a stash of lithiums and 10 of those super powerful panther flashlights. And they're gonna do a dusk till dark show in of a streetcar named Marge with a spotlight finale at the end. They can't keep that up for long. Long enough though, right? It kills me that they've got streetcar.
No one knew to flee, only one family, only